Hello, Sagittarius. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you so much for tuning in to your Love Connection Update, where I am taking a look at the energy in your love life currently to see what's going on for you, okay? So Sagittarius placements, this is for you, all right? So um, this is a general message. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, if you are interested in singles or individual messages for your journey, Sagittarius, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description box if you are interested. All right, so what do we have for Sagittarius with their love connection update? Thank you. Cassette. Passion. Okay, and the snake. I feel like you're trying to have like a relationship or trying to build um, a connection with somebody who just has this really outdated way of doing relationships. This person is not evolving, okay? This feels like you're dealing with someone who also is non-committal or at the very least entertains other people, okay? Even if they do commit to you in some way. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's not, um, because how this looks, cassette, passion, and the snake. It could feel like you're giving your passion to somebody who with the snake energy here is it's a one sided. It feels very one sided in this energy and one sided because the the foundation of it, who you're dealing with cassette here, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. This is actually somebody who feels like they disappointed you over and over and over again. So the five of swords is this is just a professional saboteur in romantic relationships. They don't really know how to have long-term relationships, at least not without um, deceptive behavior, uh, cheating, lying, deceiving. So let's see where this goes. Why do we have cassette here? You're too much for this person or too passionate like for this person. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of you are just, you know, you deal with this person, you compromise with them, you've been patient for them, you're you're possibly waiting for them or working with them, you know, while they figure things out. But I just get that this is a person who is pretty much used to people kind of playing along with whatever it is they want with the three of pentacles. So is it really compromise or some form of manipulation that keeps people in line, right? And so I feel like you may have somebody... Yeah, the threes, three of cups. I mean, <laughs> it just comes through. And if this isn't your energy, Sagittarius, okay, then it could definitely be the person you're connected to. There will be some of you who are cross watchers and your Sag is doing this to you. But um, I do feel like this is someone who, um, for a lot of you, it's actually coming through. They might be a better friend or someone that you work better with, right? Like some sort of professional relationship. For some of you, it's like a work and a love relationship. So it's kind of, you know, complicated to get out of it. And you guys are really in each other's lives as friends in some way. It's kind of like when you cross that line, though, it was a point of no return. And so I feel like the person you're dealing with is someone a lot of you could feel like you can't get away from. Not that you're obsessed, not that there is an addiction, but this person is somehow ingrained into your life, right? And I'm not really picking up that it's because of kids. It could be. You could have to parent together. You could have to see each other frequently. But the person you're dealing with is somebody that you also just genuinely like. Like you have a good time with them and there's something here where y'all work well together. So, you know, that could be the, the glue right there, but we also have the eight of wands and the 10 of cups in the reverse. So I do feel like it's kind of a situation where it's not going anywhere, right? It's a situation where it's circular. It's, it's, it's headed nowhere. Um, or at least it's headed to like a dysfunctional family situation. Okay. Um, I also feel like a lot of you have been wanting this person to change for a long time. And basically what you've gotten as far as the results is somebody who feels incapable of working as a, like a, a team with you in a love dynamic. Okay, this may be someone that you have a great business partnership with. This could also be someone that could be a great parent and you respect that. But this does feel like an individual who has a hard time settling down. Okay, so this is replaying for some of you. Um, 
This could be about cycles. This could be feel like like the third significant relationship in your life where you've gone through something like this. And so something is repeating. And so it could be time to make different choices. The two of wands, it could be time to make different decisions. And that's where you feel like you're at some sort of impasse, some sort of fork in the road where it's like, I can't keep doing the same thing over again, right? Somebody's having that epiphany. So passion says, insane chemistry, like each other equally having fun. Exactly. I feel like you and this person have a great chemistry. I said this recently, though, in one of my readings, chemistry doesn't always uh, translate to a solid romantic relationship, a healthy one. So there's definitely a passion here. This could be about a, a, a physical attraction, I feel like some lines were crossed somewhere. And maybe this is somebody, somebody shouldn't have been dealing with for reasons, red flag reasons, you know, but uh, the fool and the king of pentacles. This person is also feeling like they're very selective about who they're passionate with. So you may be getting kind of like a bare minimum vibe from them. Okay. I'll show you what's at the bottom of the deck in a second. But my feeling is that a lot of you are connecting to someone who is somewhat emotionally detached from you and can't give you as much passion as they used to or as they could even want to because they're just trying to have fun and escape from a relationship they've already committed to with the King of Pentacles. Two of Cups. I'm even picking up where some of you left this person for or left somebody else for this person and they may not have done the same thing for you. <laughs> I think that happened with Diane Carroll. Um, somebody, I think Sydney Portier or somebody she dated. Uh, she um left her husband for that person and that person either change their mind or they said, I can't leave my person for you or something. And I, it's just coming through. Somebody's going to stay attached in a situation. The, uh, this person has a lot to offer. I, seven of Pentacles, seven of wands with this King of Pentacles. They have a lot to offer. I'll get to this 10 of swords in a second. Cause I, I know what I feel from that. They're passionate, though, about their family life. Nothing comes in between them and their family. I'm going to tell you that right now. If you're dealing with somebody that has someone else or they're kind of working things out with somebody else, even if they're separated, nothing comes in between them and that family dynamic. OK, um, if you are Sagittarius, you could feel like this is this person's vibe with you somebody could be trying to come in between y'all's thing and they could have fun with that person they may you know have kids with that person but there's a determination not to let anything come in between them and what they see as stable so whoever the person has a more stable situation with i'm talking living together uh official relationship status that's who i'm, I'm even picking up this is someone, someone has a crush on someone and the other person is like, I like you. I'm even attracted to you, but I don't play about my family. Okay. So wherever you fit into that, you could be this person's family that they don't play about, but there's also a situation here where somebody is, is wanting this person to walk away, leave and end something they're not willing to do. And I kind of feel like maybe somebody here already did that. They already left a household. They already left a relationship. They already stopped dealing with somebody for this person and giving them utter loyalty. And this person is like, um, hold on. I can't do the same thing. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, because I'm still invested in my situation. So this person, whoever this is, they're very passionate about their family and they're not going to invite in anything that changes that dynamic too much. So the snake here, it says competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Well, um... Sag, I'm even starting to get somebody wants the person you're dealing with and can't have them and they may be about to start some trouble. 
some something is going on. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Come on, the seven of swords. So <sighs> Knight of Cups in the reverse could be a Pisces as the snake. Well, someone's getting rejected. Okay, that's the energy here. Someone um, is not going to get the romantic attention they're looking for. Because like I said, whoever this King of Pentacles is in your situation, they don't play about the family. So they don't care if they have like a, a like for someone, a desire for someone. If that someone is something that can come in between what they've established, if that someone is in competition with someone they they already love or that they already have a life with, they're not going to mess with it. Seriously, at least. So Knight of Cups in the reverse. This is kind of like unrequited love also in this situation. I definitely picked that up. And then there's... Just, right. Somebody... So here's what I'm getting. This can definitely be a connection where there's chemistry. One thing I have to say is from the beginning of this reading, I didn't necessarily pick up that it's even a sexual connection. It's just somebody could like somebody. Somebody's interested in somebody. But the person who feels like they're being fought over or the person, the masculine energy in this reading who feels like they are in a position to make a decision about who they want to be with three of swords, they're not going to choose what doesn't make them happy and stable. So they're going to do the right thing essentially, which is reject someone. So someone's getting rejected. And like I said, Sag, this could be somebody not playing about you, right? This could be someone that someone else keeps trying with and they keep going around in circles with and, you know, they haven't completely cut this person off just yet, but they may be about to Knight of Wands. There's your inner, right? So somebody may not play about you is the energy. Uh, uh, Libra here, um, Sagittarius energy. But uh, whatever the right thing is, again, for this person with the snake, whatever the right thing is, they do seem as if they are going to fairly handle it, okay? What's the Knight of Wands here? The sun. I do feel the energy of, of, of whoever feels like they may be getting backed into a corner. You know, are you going to be with me or her? Are you going to be with me or Sag? Okay. Or Sag, you're asking, are you going to be with me or this person? This person is going to be with who makes them happy. This person is going to be where they feel the love, the fun, the sun, the happiness are. Happiness is, okay? So Leo energy as well. So this person may be choosing a fire sign over specifically a Pisces, but a water sign, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I'm telling you, the masculine energy knows what they want in this connection. Whoever that is, okay? The emperor, the masculine energy is going to make the decision and they're not going to let somebody play with their family dynamic, their stability. All right, you have a Taurus here. All right, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries. So Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out thesunsage.com, link in the description box.